makes no sense. Hello, hello, testing, testing. Hello, hello, testing, testing. Testing, testing. Good evening and Merry Swishmas from the Swamp. This is Eli Lovell, the voice of Greenwood Athletics, with my trusty cameraman, Patrick Hanley, by my side. Welcome to another edition of our live stream of Greenwood Basketball. Tonight's doubleheader is against the Bowling Green Purples. To get us started off, it is Megan Uni taking the ball down the court after winning the tip. Trend passes to Lasley, who's back to Uni now. Uni had a phenomenal game last outing against the Allen County Scottsville Patriots. There's KK Keener up with the shot, but it is no good. Hauled in by the Purples. Sonia Shelton bringing it down, and she'll get the easy lay in. So now it's Uni bringing it down the court. Heavy pressure brought on by the Purples, and it will result in an early turnover for the Gators. Here's Shelton bringing it down the court. The dish inside now, and it's stolen away by Grant. Lay a trend on the drive now, the pass to Megan Uni. Uni trying to get away from her defender and cut inside. Instead, she passes to Keener. Trend with the shot for three, and it is no good off the backboard. The rebound goes to Johnson. There's the foul. Two shots coming up. Sorry, that is Jones. And a quick moment to thank our sponsor. Tonight's sponsor for the game is Harlan Parker, Attorneys at Law. First free throw is good, so it's a 3-0 lead for the Purples to get this one going. And she converts for both. So now it's Uni. Now Uni has it stolen away, but she gets it back. And now it's stolen again, this time by Jones. The drive by Shelton. The shot is up, and it is also good. So an early 6-0 run for the Purples. Timeout called early on in this one by the Gators. 
if you will remember, last week's outing was also a nail biter. That one against the Allen County Scottsville Patriots. 45-41 was the final score there. The Lady Gators coming away with the victory. And remember, stay tuned tonight for our guys' matchup against the Bowling Green Purples. Should be an exciting one there. The boys looking to come off of last week's loss to the Allen County Scottsville Patriots, this time with a dub in mind. So here goes Uni now. Uni, the deep pass to Grant, and that one is barely kept in bounds. The ball now out top with Kiosden Jones. Now it's Meadow Tisdale. That one is Shelton, who's going to get the easy bucket. What an offensive night she started this first quarter off with. Here's KK Keener with the ball trying to shake her defender. The inside pass to Grant. And she is stripped, but she gets it back. Uni now goes up with it. They wave the shot off. The foul is on the floor. This one's going to go against Sanaya Shelton. So Keener to pass it in for the Gators. She gets it out to Uni near the top of the key. Uni loses it but gets it back. 5.48 to go in the first quarter, and that one is stolen away. That's Gurley up with the shot. Rihanna Gurley there converting defense to offense for the Purples, and it's a 10-0 lead early on in this one. Keener the dish trying to get it to Grant, and that one is stolen by Meadow Tisdale. Tisdale the pass now to Shelton who's going to go up and convert another bucket for her to start this night. A 12-0 run for the Lady Purples, and that is your score right now. Gators trying to get something done on offense, avoid the costly turnovers. Uni now at the ball. She gets through two defenders and drives. The shot is blocked, though, by Meadow Tisdale. Sanaya Shelton now on the dish, and there's a stuff by Annie Lasley. Great play from her down on the lower block. Can it lead to points for the Gators? And no. The ball is stolen and kept alive by Meadow Tisdale. And there's an and one by the Purples. That's number 12, Kiosden Jones going back to the line. And it's a 14-0 advantage early on with a chance to make it a 15-point lead. Not how the Gators wanted to start this game as Nicole Milam is coming in for Megan Uni for your Lady Gators. That was Uni's first foul of the game. So the basket is no good. Lasley with the rebound and she gets it out to Nicole Milam. Milam trying to lead the charge. She gives it up to Leia Trin. Leia Trin to Keener who's gonna pull a three and that one is no good, just too much on it. And that one is going to go with Bowling Green. So Sanaya Shelton to pass it in. Milam bringing the full court pressure. Looks like a press from the Gators. But that's number 21, Janiah Bailey to get through it. She goes up and her shot is no good, rebounded by Grant. Kayla Grant, the recent transfer, already making her mark known for the Gators, along with her brother Mark, who plays for the boys' team as there's a turnover against Nicole Milam, stepped out of bounds on the baseline, and it will be Bowling Green ball once again. Not the start the Gators wanted to this one. Tisdale with the ball. She dishes to Shelton. Shelton, nice little pass there, but it's stuffed again by Annie Lasley. She is letting nothing through. And there's a costly turnover again for the Gators. The pass too high from Grant on trying to get the connection to Keener. It was a good cut, but just too much on the pass. Shelton bringing it down the court against Milam. Milam keeping her hands up, trying to avoid a foul. She plays an aggressive brand of basketball that really works well on that defense. Shelton back up top with it, trying to wave a girl forward for a pick. Instead, she gets it to Tisdale. Tisdale thought about pulling it, gives it back to Shelton. She's going to pass it now to Bailey. Bailey goes up with a shot, and that one gets the lucky bounce and goes in. 
everything going against the Lady Gators right now as Keener and the Purples decide to press now. Keener kind of stuck at the charity stripe for Bowling Green. Tries to get it to Grant, and there's another turnover for the Lady Gators. Costly basketball being played right now. The Gators are going to have to work on smoothing these things out. And there's a turnover and a steal by Annie Lasley. And they're going to call the jump ball going with the Lady Gators. Or sorry, it looks like they gave it to the Purples. So that's Jones on the inbounds pass now for the Purples. Good stop, though, by Annie Lasley to avoid the bucket. Bailey driving in. And her shot is again blocked by guess who, Annie Lasley. Loses it off the rebound, but stolen by Nicole Milam. Good defense on the block from Lasley and Milam. Milam with the dish to Keener. He's going to try for the floater, and it is no good on the baseline. Rebound goes to Meadow Tisdale. Shelton with the pass deep to Bailey. Bailey up with the shot, and it is good. Lasley just too late to get there. And with 2.50 to go in this first quarter, a brutal beating that the Gators are taking right now, 18-0. Milam trying to get through the pressure, and that one is stolen away by Meadows. Milam trying to get it back. Meadows on the floor. She recovers. Here's Jones who pulls the shot and sinks the three. 21 0 is the score. And so already the Purples in the first quarter, still two minutes to spare in this one, and they have half the points that Allen County Scottsville picked up on us last outing. As the floater by Trin, not good there either. Lasley trying to get the board, but Meadows pulls away with it. Bailey now on the drive. The foul and one. You could not make this up if you tried. Still scoreless, Still scoreless out here for the Gators. 23-0 in favor of the Purples. And so we have subs now coming into the game. That's pretty much a full swap for the Gators. We have Honest Blewett, Olivia Lovell, and Megan Uni checking back into the game in her case. The attempt from the charity stripe is up and no good. So she cannot convert, but the rebound by Shelton is going to put it up. Good defense. Can't get it to go there. Lovell with the rebound, but she lost it. But it will stay with the Lady Gators. Under two minutes to go now in the first. The Gators trying to limp out of this one doing anything they can to reassert their dominance in this game. Milam now with the ball. Milam to Trim. Uni now. Megan Uni passes to Trin again. Now it's to Lovell at the top of the key. The little sweep by Trin for the shot, and that one is no good for three. Lovell tried to get the rebound, but couldn't get it there. Out of bounds. This one is going with the Purples. So here's Shelton now. Shelton, Milam sticking on her though, like stink on poo. At the top of the key, that was Winthrow. Now here's the dish inside to Winthrow and the shot is no good, well low on that one. Rebounded though by Kiosden Jones. The shot is up by Bailey. That one is no good, but the foul is called. Or I apologize, that is Rihanna Gurley who will be going to the line for two to shoot for the Purples. So under a minute now to go in this one, 58 seconds in the first quarter. 23-0, a chance to make it a quarter. Gurley, the first is too hard off the back iron. That one is no good. And the second one, a lane violation is called on the Purples. That will be a turnover to the Gators. So finally something going the way for Greenwood. No points there off the free throws. 
And a pass is well behind Uni by Milam there. Good defensive pressure by Bowling Green. And there is another turnover against the Lady Gators. So it'll be Jones to pass it in. Trying to get it to Shelton, but Milam is already on her. 45 seconds to go in this first quarter. Shelton with space. Dishes to Jones. Jones over to Gurley, who's now to number 10, Ava Bennett. And they'll call her there for the walk. So lots of turnovers in this game, which we saw as a problem against Allen County Scottsville from both sides, but especially for Greenwood this night, not looking too hot to start it. There's the pass to Lovell, who has it in the corner. Tries to dish it to Honest. But that one, just too much on the pass. Good defensive pressure, and it's another turnover for the Gators on the baseline. On his blue at the target of the pass. And the Gators will once again be on the defense. Their backs to the wall. Shelton, with 13 seconds to go, dishes it away. Here's the pass inside, and that one is up, and no good, but a foul called. That one's going to go against Nicole Milam, I do believe. And that is... Imani Winthrow going to the line for two. Foul called on Honest Blewett. Winthrow is no good for the first one. Subs coming in for the Purples. That's number four, Emma Husky. And number 11, Tanaya Fugate. So Winthrow's second attempt is up, and it is no good as well. But the rebound goes to the Purples. Five seconds to go. The three from Husky is no good. Rebound is off the hands of the Purples. That'll be a turnover with 1.5 seconds to go. Milam's going to pull from half court. She did not get it off, and it wouldn't have mattered anyways. That's a shot as well over the backboard. So... What started as a promising in for the Gators has turned into a bit of a slaughter to start this one at the Swamp. 23-0, the Purples lead. Can the Lady Gators get back into this one? We will find out after the break. You're watching Greenwood High School TV. So we are about to come back out of the break. The look for your Lady Gators is Lasley, Trim, Grant, Uni, and KK Keener. We will start off the second quarter. Gators have the ball looking to get anything on the glass. A 23-0 run through that first quarter for the Lady Purples. Excellent basketball that they're playing tonight, especially on the defensive pressure. Trend now decided to pass it away to Keener. Good defense from the Purples. Keener gets it on the cut to Trend, who's going to drive in, draw the foul, and get the basket to go. So a good start to the second quarter for the Gators as Leia Trend gets a beautiful cut on the pass from Keener and with a chance now to convert for three points. That is the first foul against Meadow Tisdale as Leia Trend does indeed convert the N1. Bringing it down the court now is Saniya Shelton. Good first period out of her. Gurley nearly lost it there, but got it back. Here's Shelton now from the free throw line. That one is good. So Keener will bring it up the court. Trin, now back to Keener. Keener over to Grant. 
Kayla Grant passes back to Trin, and now to Keener for a wide open three, and she can't get it to go there. But rebound goes to Kayla Grant. Trin now up top with it again. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Trin the drive again, and this one is also good. She's starting to find her mark here. 25-5 is the score right now. Shelton the pass over to Jones. Jones with the step back for three. No good there. Rebounded by Uni. Good fight from her to get that one. Here's Trin now, hoping to keep her hot streak alive. She passes to Grant. Uni now with the ball. Nearly loses it after some good defense from Jones, but she gets it away to Trin. Keener, the pass down to Lasley, who's going to get the ball smacked right out of her hands. Big block there from Meadow Tisdale. And going the other way, a little lob pass. No good on the layup. Uni puts her in the spin cycle on the way back up the court. Now Grant in. And they're going to call a charge against Kayla Grant on that one. Not sure exactly what she did wrong. Didn't appear to be an elbow or anything like that, but too physical for the ref, apparently. It always is. It's those kind of Mickey Mouse fouls, as my grandfather likes to call them, that are going to kill us out here. Anyways, here's Jones with the ball over to Tisdale, who's going to pull a three herself. That one is no good. Rebound goes to the Gators. Trend with the ball. Trend stops short of the basket. Pass to Uni. Uni from the top of the key. Uni again trying to send her to the laundromat with the spin cycle on that one. Keener from the G trying to drive in. 5.28 to go in the second quarter. Keener up top. Trend now all the way back from the G. Gators not being able to penetrate much on this one. But Trin's going to try for the step back and is blocked. And another lob down the court and another layup, no good. But the foul is called on Megan Uni. Good effort there to prevent the basket. That is Uni's second personal foul of the game. And so here is Kiosden Jones. First one is good. So that stops the Gators run cold and Purple's back on the board once again. Jones second free throw. Unlucky bounce there is no good. Recovered by Lasley. Lasley's just gonna throw it away. Bad communication there between Lasley, Trin, and Uni on that one. And it's another costly turnover for the Gators with 5.05 to go in the second quarter. 21 point lead for the Purples now. Comfortable pillow for them, already looking towards halftime in this one. Meadows fighting against Grant and Lasley, and Lasley sends it back. That's her third block of the game in this one. She's providing the spark they need on defense. Now who's going to provide it on offense? Trin. She has the ball now. She's got all five of the Gators' points in this one. Kayla Grant now from the free throw line, and that one is stolen away by Shelton. Trin on Shelton, who's going to take the layup, and that one is good. She has the size advantage in that matchup. One-on-one, -on -one, she's going to win that all day. Keener now to Trin, back to Keener. Now it's Kayla Grant up top. And so the Gators will reset it now with Trin. Trin, risky pass there, but she gets it away to Grant who gives it to Uni, and the shot is no good. Rebounded by Shelton. Shelton loses it. Great steal by Uni. Good awareness on her part. Kayla Grant's going to go up with it. The shot is no good. Rebounded again by Megan Uni, who's going to go up with the shot and draw the foul on number three, Sonia Shelton. So the Gators with another easy chance to convert some points. Four minutes to go exactly in the second quarter. 28-5 your score. Make it 28-6. Subs coming in for the Purples. That's Husky for Shelton. And Bailey in exchange for... And there's Uni with the shot. 
Subs now for the Gators. She is brought out in exchange for Nicole Milam. Good play by Uni going onto the bench now, getting her some rest and avoiding any potential fouls as they will need her through this game to be a big defensive and offensive converter. And there's a nice attempt at a steal by Lasley, tipped to Grant, and she just couldn't corral it in. That one is going to be out of bounds on the Gators. Passing it in now is Kiosen Jones. Sorry if I'm butchering that name, by the way. The shot is up and good by number 33, Rihanna Gurley. And the Purples have 30 on the board now. 30 to 7 is the official score with 3.35 to go in the second quarter. Trend drives. Trend the dish to Lasley. Lasley goes up with it and draws the foul. So she will go to the line to shoot two. Good effort there by Lasley to keep the ball alive. Foul goes against Meadow Tisdale. First one is too hard, no good by Lasley. So, Lasley again setting up as number 45, Imani Winthrow subbed in for the Purples. That one is also no good, unlucky bounce there. Here's Jones now. Jones with the drive off the pick. Winthrow at the top of the key. She dishes to Husky. I'm sorry, that was Ava Bennett. Here's Winthrow again up top. This one now to Jones. Jones fighting, trying to get inside. She does, and they will call the foul there. That one should go against. That one is against Rachel Evans for the Gators. Her first foul of the night. So Jones now with two attempts for the Purples. First one is up and good. Three oh one to go in this one as the second attempt is good as well. And is a 25 point lead for the Purples. Milam trying to get aggressive drive inside. The shot is no good. Rebound goes to the Purples, and here's Jones bringing it up against Milam. Good defense from Milam to force Jones back out behind the arc. Jones is going to pull, and Jones is going to find her mark. Timeout called 35-7, to the scoreline right now. Hate to see it for the Gators. 2.39 to go. They're just going to need to survive until halftime, try to get some momentum going into this second half. We will take a quick break. This is Greenwood High School TV. And we are back now. 2.39 to go in this one, in the half at least. Some might wish it was the game as this one is just looking brutal. Milam now, good handles, trying to fight off number 10, Ava Bennett. Ball is lost, and that one is going to go with the Purples, who apparently, according to the official, are wearing blue tonight. So here come the Purples now. That's Jones. Jones the dish to Bailey. Bennett now. Good ball movement by the Purples. Here's Bailey. Milam fighting for the ball. And she will get that one away to number 15, Elizabeth Ritchie. So now Jones back up top. 
fighting against Uni on this one. Under two minutes to go now. Richie trying to pass inside. She's going to get it to Bennett, who's going to take the three. Short on that one, rebounded by Nicole Milam. Lady Gators now back on offense. Milam finds Uni. Uni on the drive. Uni with the floater from the baseline and is no good. But the rebound is being fought for. Jump ball is called. Nice effort by Uni to get on the ground that time. But this one is going to go with the Lady Purples. And as the Purples will pause for a substitution, I'd just like to take a chance to remind you that tonight's Lady Gators basketball sponsor of the game is Harlan Parker, Attorneys at Law. And of course, we could do none of this without the viewers like you. So thank you for your support of Greenwood High School TV. Here comes Husky now. And looks like they're going to call a push-off foul there. That one's going to go against Imani Winthrow. So an offensive foul leads to the Gators getting the ball back once again. 117 to go in the half. KK Keener going to take this one off the inbounds. Nicole Milam subbed out of the game. Trin Nataouni back to Trin. Leia Trin has five of this team's seven points in this game. She's going to try to drive again, and they're going to call the shooting foul there. So Trin, little floater from the corner of the paint, and she's going to go to the line for two. Good decision to pull on that one. Foul is the first of the game against Ava Bennett. Not a wise decision on her part defensively as Trin makes the first. Olivia Lovell brought in for Annie Lasley, and Honest Blewett brought in for Kayla Grant. Trin looking to convert the second free throw, trying to give the Gators any spark going into this half. And she does. 35 to 9 is the score now as we are approaching the one minute mark in the half. Jones now dishes it away. Here's Winthrow who loses the ball. Recovered though by Ava Bennett. Good heads up play by the Purples as Jones pulls a three and is no good. Rebound by Leia Trin. You don't see that very often. And now she leads the charge and cannot get the layup to go. Good recovery on the offense though by Olivia Lovell. Leia Trin pulls from three. Short on that one. Lovell fighting for the rebound, can't get it. Jones taking it the other way. 28 seconds to go in the half. And stolen away. That was Megan Uni who poked it free. Lovell on the recovery. Uni now to Trin. Trin going down the baseline, and she gets that one to bounce and go in. Gate, Lady Gators in the double digits now. Under 10 seconds to go. This will be the last shot of the half. Jones off the pick on Uni. Jones now driving. She gets the floater and is no good. Recovery though by Bennett who puts it up at the buzzer and scores. Good heads up play by Ava Bennett there. And just when things look like they might start to be turning for the Gators, the shellacking at the Swamp continues. Going into the half, it is 37 to 11, a 26 point lead for the Lady Purples. Stick with us though as the Lady Gators hope to turn this one around. Once again, I'm Eli Lovell, and you are watching Greenwood High School TV. We'll take a quick break.
least. 37 to 11 is your score line right now. The Lady Purple's on top. I'd like to give another shout out to tonight's game sponsor, Harlan Parker Attorneys at Law, and also my cameraman, Patrick Hanley, doing a fantastic job on the cinematography. So for your purples right now, Meadow Tisdale, Shania Shelton, Kiosden Jones, Emma Husky, Rihanna Gurley, and uh, one other player who I cannot find right now out on the court. And for, of course, your Lady Gators starting the second half, KK Keener, who passes it in to lay a trend to get this one underway, Kayla Grant, Megan Uni, and Annie Lasley down on the block. Uni now, after a good screen from Lasley, trying to get a girl to cut into the paint. Here's Keener now. Keener now up top. Sorry, folks, a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Uni driving. Uni the step back three, short on that one. Rebound goes to the Purples. Good defense from Uni to pick up Jones. Jones is going to pull a three, and that one is too much, no good. Rebounded by Annie Lasley, who's dominated the boards tonight and also has three or four blocks to her name in this one. Uni, nice pass down to Kayla Grant, who converts on an easy layup. Nice shot over the defender there, and I don't know what just happened there. Key Austin Jones got completely behind the Lady Gators' defense. And there's a steal this time. It's going to go to Rihanna Gurley. That was a backdoor if I've ever seen one on that last play, though. A gaping hole. No one even looking at the basket as she drove there. Rare mistake tonight from the defense. They're going to have to look a lot better. 39-13 is your score right now with six and a half minutes to go in the third. Pass into Meadows. Meadows around Kayla Grant and good on the shot. And the hardships continue for the Gators right out of the halftime tunnel. Uni the lob to Grant, corrals that one. A little bit of an Odell Beckham Jr. on that one. And there's a steal. Layup is up and good by Kios and Jones. So Trend now, Trend's gonna take a three. Too much on that one, rebounded by Lasley. Lasley goes up and it's blocked by Meadows. Rebound, Meadows fighting for it and she's gonna get it. Little lax in effort there by the Gators. I think they know what we all know on this one. And there's another block by Lasley. Lasley gets the rebound too. She's been the bright spot for this Gators defense tonight. That's five blocks to her name. Keener driving in. Keener with the double dribble there. Stopped short, tried to look for a lane around, dribbled before the pass, and that is not allowed. So another turnover against the Gators. It is a 30-point deficit they are now facing with 5.27 to go in the third, 43-13. to 13. Emma Husky bringing it up for the Purples. Husky the little dish. And the reach-in foul is going to be called against Megan Uni. That's her third. Sonia Shelton to pass the ball in for the Purples. Good pressure from the Gators. She's finally going to get into Meadows. Back to Shelton now from the G. Shelton the handoff to Husky. Shelton again with the ball. Now she's going to drive. Good defense from Lasley, but the shot is good. Uni. Gators fighting the press despite being down 32. Milam, drive along the baseline. Shot is no good. Rebound goes. That was Gurley for the Purples. And here comes Shelton now. Back out. The shot is up, and that's Jones. No good. Gurley tried to get the rebound. Tipped away by the Gators, recovered by the Purples. So for the inbounds pass, here is Saniya Shelton. 
Shelton the dish to Jones. Jones fighting Milam. The shot is no good. Good defense by Milam and a defensive board for her. Leading the charge. Milam pulls up short. Gives it to Uni. Grant wide open there. Missed opportunity for the Gators to get her down on the block. Here's Trent instead. Milam pass into Lasley. Great fake there. Grant has the ball. Shot is no good. Good defense from Meadows. Maybe a foul there, but no conflict called on by the ref. So here's Husky now. Husky the dish inside. The block by Lasley. Yet again getting her name in the stat sheet. So Nicole Milam now from the Swamp logo. Milam loses it. Uni recovers. Now it's Trin with the ball. Trin off the pick from Milam. The step back shot on the baseline off the top of the backboard and no good. Meadows thought might have been a double dribble there. An obvious shooting foul called on Nicole Milam. She got wrapped around number 33, Rihanna Gurley, who is going to the line to shoot two more for the Purples. First foul of the game on Milam, despite her stingy defense. She is one of the best defensive players on this team, as Coach Simpson calls a timeout for the Lady Gators. 45 to 13 is your score, 337 to go in the third quarter. But don't lose hope yet, folks. There is still a whole quarter and a half of basketball to play in this game. And even if this one does not pan out, stick around because we'll be right back here for the broadcast of your boys' basketball game against the Bowling Green Purples. Should be a good one there. Boys coming off a tough loss to the Allen County Scottsville Patriots where they started off on a 10-0 run and then saw that lead completely blown away. Noah, Noah Stansberry had a very slow game in that one. Couldn't get anything to go on the board. Cade Stinnett, though, about the only bright spot in that one for the Gators. He's going to look to continue his big performance as one of the prime underclassmen on this starting lineup. Shout out now to Annie Lasley, who has been about the sole bright spot of the Gators team tonight. Lasley sure must be a fan of Legos because she's building a blockhouse out here today. My cameraman didn't like that one. Might have been a little bit of a stretch, but when you're down by 32, you got to find something to talk about. So here's 46 to 13 now. 33 point deficit for the Gators. Second one is too strong, rebounded by Kayla Grant. Good awareness there from the Gators. Uni's going to try for a contested three. Way too much on that one. So here goes Shelton now. Good defense from Milam getting up in the air to stop a pass. And obvious flop there by Kayla Grant. I don't know what she was thinking. I don't, I don't know if Shelton blew her over on that one. She zoomed right on by, and it's 48-13 now. Kayla Grant now fighting on the board. Kayla Grant goes up and converts the shot with an attempt at the end one. So, one shot now coming up for Kayla Grant. Gurley subbed out for the Purples. That's gonna be number 15, Elizabeth Ritchie coming into the game. Free throws, no good, rebounded by Meadows. Three minutes to go in the third. Jones now at the ball. Jones to Meadows at the top of the key. Meadows. Now here's Richie. The drive in, the little floater is well short. Rebounded by Richie, and her shot is no good. Any Lasley fighting for that ball. They're going to call it a jump, and it will stay here with the Lady Purples. Good defense, though, from Annie Lasley. So the inbounds now, looking for Jones. She finds her, the wide open three, and that one wet like rain. 51 to 15 the score now. Per the Lady Gators are gonna do anything to just limp out of this one with a respectable, a respectable deficit, we will say. Milam 
trying to drive inside, and that one is stolen away. There's Saniya Shelton, and she misses the wide open layup on that one. And there's heavy block there, but it's recovered by the Gators. That was Meadows on the steal attempt. And Milam fakes herself out, loses the ball, but she will maintain possession after it goes out of bounds. Tipped off number 21, Bailey of the Purples. Lay a trend to pass it in. KK Keener subbed in for Kayla Grant for your Lady Gators. Keener. Now it's Lasley at the top of the key. She finds Uni. Keener setting the pick for Lasley, who gets a nice cut, goes inside. Cannot convert the shot, though. And good defense from Uni. The Purples will lose the ball, and the Gators will take over back on their side. Great defense there by Megan Uni. And it was a great shot attempt by Annie Lasley, but just good defense from the Purples on that one. Trend from the G. Under a minute to go in the third. Lasley to Uni. Uni the pass up top to Keener. Keener tried to find Uni on the cut, couldn't get it to her. Instead, it's Milam. Here's Uni again up top. 45 seconds in the quarter. Foul on the drive. That'll be a reach in going against the Purples. Number four, Emma Husky with the foul. KK Keener to pass it in from the baseline. Running clock now for the Gators. They're not going to stop this one. Uni with the, sorry, that's Trin with the drive. Trin with the roll, unlucky bounce off the basket. Lasley tried to recover, stripped away by the Purples. And now it's Trin on the steal attempt. She can't get there. Good defense, though. Husky recovers for the Purples, who are now driving. Wide open three is no good. Well over the rim there. Trin now stops from the Swamp logo and pulls up the deep three. Nothing on that one. Buzzer sounds. 51-15, one quarter of basketball left to play in this game. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. 36-point deficit for the Lady Gators in this one. Not what we wanted to see. Once again, your game sponsor is Harlan Parker, Attorneys at Law. Your cameraman is Patrick, ha Patrick Hanley. Sorry. But I may be joined by your student body president, Patrick Haycraft, later tonight. We will see about that one. I'd like to give a special shout out to Dan the Man, Mr. Dillingham, your athletic director for Greenwood High School, the one who started this broadcast last year. Mr. Quarter, the STLP director, for making all of this possible. Thank you to him. And to Jackson Sutherland and Tucker Clack, last year's main announcers for basketball, who allowed me to continue this tradition. And remember, we are slated to commentate for basketball and baseball, where I may be joined by your own Chase Bailey. However, if there are more sports you would like to see us commentate, let us know. Contact myself or Mr. Quarter, or leave a comment on this video, and we will do our best to get whatever sport you want to see on Greenwood High School TV. So we're about to resume from the Swamp. For the Gators, it'll be the starting five, plus Honest Blewett in place of Kayla Grant. There is KK Keener, Leah Trin, Nicole Milam, and Megan Uni filling out the rest. So starting it off, here's Trin fighting against Husky. Now it's Milam. Milam up top. Milam tried to call for a pick. Said she's going to pass it back out to Trin. Nice little fake. Trin on the drive. The shot is no good. Board goes to Winthrow of the Purples. Drive now by Ava Bennett. Bennett up top now. That's Bailey. Bailey drives. Good defense from Honest. Blew it there. But she will be called for the foul off the rebound. That will be Imani Winthrow going to the line. Shoot two for your purples. So, second foul on the game against, it's actually going to be called against Nicole Milam. I didn't see her with contact on that one. But that'll be her second foul of the game. Only two fouls, 
of the half against the Lady Purples. They have played clean basketball out here tonight. Three fouls only for the Gators in this half. So a good second half for both teams when it comes to the physicality. Keener now. KK Keener looking to light it up. She's usually a pretty good three-point shooter in this one. Hasn't been active. And with the drive there, it's Megan Uni who's going to get the foul called. She will go to the charity stripe, shoot two. Reminder, we do have a running clock in effect on this one now. 6.48 to go in the game. First free throw is good. That was the second foul of the game on Imani Winthrow of the Lady Purples as Uni looks to convert the second free throw, and she does. Megan Uni's been pretty clean from the line tonight. Good attempt there. Here's Bennett off the pick. Good defense from Megan Uni. Wind throw from up top, dishes it away. Now it's Husky driving. Husky can't get that one to go. Rebound by Blewett. Leia Trin bringing it down for your Lady Gators. Trin fighting the dish to Milam. Wide open three-point attempt. Bang, it's good. Too little, too late most likely, but either way, that is nice three there on the board for the Lady Gators. I believe they're first of the night, and it is 51-20 as we approach the six-minute mark in the game. Bennett now. Bennett to Winthrow. Imani Winthrow to shot, no good. Rebounded by Megan Uni. Good defense from Honest Blewett on that one. Trend now. She's got the dish in load, Honest Blewett. Too high, though, for her. She couldn't hang on. That one's going with the purples. Big substitutions coming in for the Gators. That's Olivia Lovell, Kayla Grant, and Rachel Evans in in exchange for KK Keener, Leia Trend, and Honest Blewett. Under five and a half minutes to go now as Ava Bennett brings it up the court for the Purples. Good defense from Uni. Here's Richie with the ball. Not much out of her tonight. Wind throw up top. Now it's Husky. Husky with the shot. The deep two is good from Husky. Milam bringing it down the court now for the Gators as we've eclipsed the five minute mark. Greenwood just trying to get out of this one with any little shred of hope. And there's good pass attempt. Milam draws the reach in foul. We'll see who that one goes against. It goes against Emma Husky. That is her second of the game. KK Keener brought back in the game in exchange for Megan Uni. Megan Uni, a well-deserved break now. She's had a pretty good night out here. As good as she can be, I guess, for this one. Milam on the drive, the pass to Evans. Rachel Evans, now it's KK Keener. Lovell from deep. Lovell driving in, she gets the reach in, called against her. Good drive by Olivia Lovell there to draw the foul. That one's gonna go against I don't know who that one's going to go against, actually. There's no number 13 listed on the roster. Anyways, Keener into Blewett. Blewett's going to put it up. That one's no good. Lovell with the rebound. Off the glass, too hard. Spins in and out. Purples take it the other way. And a nice Milam called for the foul there. Looks like that one could have been all ball, but it was a good attempt to stop the shot there. I always say, you know, especially when you're trailing by this much or when you have a big lead, Always better to avoid the easy two points, make them earn it from the line instead. So a good foul there by Milam. As the first free throw is good. That's number 21, Janiah Bailey. Not much that I heard at this point, but she has been a consistent player in this rotation for the Purples so far. Second free throw is good. It is a 36 point game. Evans on the drive. Loses her girl for a sec there. Lovell now from the logo. Lovell with the pass to Keener, now trying to get on the cut. Good defense, though, from number 15 of the Purples. That's Richie. Evans now back up top. Screen from Honest Blewett. 
The pass to Milam. Milam's got an opening. Milam stops and shoots, and that one is good. Nicole Milam hits the shot as we approach the three-minute mark in this game, 55-22, Lady Purples. Shot is up. The bounce is no good. Rebound, not going to go to anyone, but out of bounds on the baseline, it will be Lady Gators basketball. Lady Gators trying to turn it on late here, trying to salvage something out of this game. They've got a lot to work on. Not looking as good as they did last week. A 45-41 decision where they took down the Allen County Scottsville Lady Patriots. And Milam is gonna get called there for the travel. She carried on that one. Thought she might have had a walk there earlier too, but it was a no call by the refs. So here comes Janiah Bailey. Now it's Richie. Richie down low, that was to Winthrow. The shot is up from number two, Peyton Briley, and it's no good. Nice pass there to get Winthrow to the line for the Purples. Imani Winthrow, solid block performance from her tonight. Foul goes against Olivia Lovell, that is her first of the game. Under two minutes now to go in this one. Winthrow's first attempt. It's no good. Winthrow going to try to convert the second here. That one is also short. Lovell fighting for the rebound. She can't get there. It is going to stay with Bowling Green. Would have been better off letting that one go. Fugate on the pass in. Stolen by Nicole Milam. Nicole Milam leading the charge. Nice fake there. The layup is good. 55-24. Minute and a half to go in this game. The shot is up and no good off the rim from the Purples. Recovered by Honest Blewett. Evans bringing it down the court for the Gators now. Milam drives in and ooh, that one is good. Good off balance attempt there from Milam. Blewett can't get the block, the shot is good. We have passed the one minute mark in this game and it has not been a pretty one for the Gators at any point. 57-26 the score right now. Purple's lead. Milam to Lovell. Lovell gonna try to drive in. Dishes to KK Keener who pulls from three and that one is no good. And there's a foul. That'll be Peyton Briley going to the line to shoot for the purples. The clock is just gonna run out on this one as is a 31 point advantage for the Lady Purples. They will stop the clock with 21 seconds. Second foul against Olivia Lovell this quarter. It's the free throws up and no good. Second free throw is also no good. Rebound goes to the Purples. And there's a shot. Peyton Briley sinks the three there. Not much good that's going to do either way, though. As time expires, Milam's going to try to drive with it. Her shot is up and no good. Good defense from Blewett, recovered by the Purples. And that'll do it. 60-26. to 26. Not the prettiest of games for the Lady Gators. Thank you all for watching this one. Stay tuned for our boys' action, also against the Bowling Green Purples. A reminder that tonight's Lady Gator basketball game sponsor was Harlan Parker, Attorneys at Law. Once again, thank you to Mr. Dillingham and Mr. Quarter, Patrick Hanley on the camera, working some fine cinematography, if I do say so myself. Bust out, bust out the primetime Emmys for this one. Patrick Hanley, thanks again. And so we will take a quick break. We will be back with your guys' action on a different live stream, so stay tuned. Pay attention to the YouTube channel. We will be ready to switch into that one. I am Eli Lovell, your voice of Greenwood Athletics, and you're watching Greenwood High School TV. Thank you.